Hey, what's up? It's that metal guy, 1983, coming to you guys with a craft beer review. Seen him once before on this channel. It's time to go big or go home. We're talking about Mount Olympus Brewing. Thank you, Orlando, for hooking it up, my friend. This is their fruit factor times two. It is a mango passion fruit milkshake IPA coming in at 7.5% alcohol. This is a big end. We're talking 32 ounces of freedom, man. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to crack into it. It's a behemoth of a can, guys. And I love, and I said this in the last review, different on purpose and purposely making a difference. Something we believe here on this channel. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, hit the like, Hit the notification bell and leave a freaking comment if you would. All right, let's. Whoa, whoa! I got a little, a little spritz, a little spritz action happening there. So here we go. This is the can. We're gonna do the pour. All right. Get into that. And I think I'm gonna drink this whole entire thing while we're here on video because why? That would be highly entertaining for you guys, right? So, uh, as we do in every video, let's uh, take a look at the beer. Beautiful, golden color, slight tinge of amber going down the middle. Lots and lots of carbonation, which is appreciated when you get a crowler and sometimes the carbonation goes down. So thank you. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm mainly getting that kind of a, uh, off the nose is the passion fruit, some grapefruit notes, and we'll see if that mango pops through on the taste. Cheers, let's get into the taste. Oh, wow. Wow. Perfectly balanced with the flavors. Okay, guys. A lot of the times when you get it's a fruit IPA, it's like, it's so subtle. Wow. You really do get that milkshakey mango passion fruit flavor to it once it's in your mouth. Holy crap. Wow. Well done. Well freaking done. That is really nice. Mm. Ah. So refreshing, so tingly with the carbonation. It's got everything you want. <clears throat> it's got everything you want from a solid milkshake IPA. The flavors are on point. You can get some hops in there. You notice those. And, you know, not super low on the ABV, 7.5. It's tracking kind of right next to that double IPA marker. Wow, it is well done. Uh, they're ab out of Aberdeen, Washington, you know, the hometown of Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. Uh, these guys, I went in, first time I went in there, great. Sampled a few things. The second time I went and sampled them, uh, one of the things that I tried that I was really impressed with and it hadn't been aged yet was Blood of Hades. Wow. Super awesome stout. Uh, but anyways, fruit factor times two. Uh, it gets full marks. This is one of the most flavorful IPAs I've had in a long, long time. A lot of the times I get IPAs. And yeah, I really love and enjoy the hoppiness, that kind of citrus flavor. With this delivered on that mango and passion fruit, 110%, it did that. Hmm. You guys are new here. You haven't been to the channel yet. A little bit about me. My name is Steven. I'm that metal guy, 1983. I do craft beer reviews, beer product reviews. I talk about just about anything and everything that I'm feeling at the moment. This is kind of a diverse subject channel. Uh, but the main thing that we talk about 
underlining under everything, the most important part, most important part of all is our Oh Yeah Army pillars, spreading peace, love, and understanding, embracing equality and acceptance, showing those to yourself first, then your friends and your family, and then the animals and the environment. If we could all try to do those a little bit more every day, imagine how much better the world could be. Um, just did a run of hats, uh, which was awesome. Um, part of the proceeds went to go support a young girl who's fighting germ cell brain cancer. This next run of hats, which are getting made, which will be available, and I'll tell you guys more about that, uh, will be going to support men's mental health awareness and support. In the mental health space, men are the most uh, stereotyped, uh, yet uh, need the most help. We make over 70% of males of suicides. So uh, definitely uh, have some passion around that, been around people going through their own mental health issues my whole entire life, whether that's my father or my child, and I've gone through my own bouts of depression. So it's important to talk those out and vent them. So just wanted to get that out there. Um, if you're going through something, Hit up a friend, or if you need to hit up me, I'll be an unbiased third party for you. Uh, anyways, getting back into the beer. Uh, I'm not sure when they established their brewery. Uh, all I can tell you guys, and I'll, if I do, I'll link up a date right here. I'll link their stuff down below. But uh, definitely uh, impressed by this one. Uh, I liked uh, the Toasted Tiki Black IPA we had the last time. Uh, this significantly uh, beats that, like out of the water. I know they're on two different playing fields, but this delivers in a huge way. Uh, really stoked by this beer. And even with there being so much of it, I'm not, like, getting tired of it. I'm not a problem. I don't know if I'll drink the whole thing here on camera. Uh, I'm kind of getting along with it, and I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Not going to lie. I uh, did a review before this, and so I had something before this, and haven't had dinner yet. So I'm really feeling it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Orlando, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Uh I wish you guys all the success and prosperity in this year. Hope things just explode for you. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. It uh, means the world to me that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. I put a lot of time and effort into them, and I hope that comes through to you guys. Anyways, keep on rocking. And... Oh, yeah.